Hey, so today I'm running the 890 jump uh, boarding action in progress. That's the uh, urgent mercenary distress signal uh, mission that you can pick up. You can pick them up outside of Microtech or uh, Arc 18. Um, I've run the few at Microtech and then I discovered that you can actually do it at Arc 18, so it's a lot less traveling. Um, what I'm going to show here though is just how easy the AI is. I'm not sure if anybody's actually tried fighting them. Sometimes they seem like they're tough, like, oh, they'll just charge you down. Other times they just stand there like mindless idiots and you can just headshot them. Um, but we're going to show a little bit about that. And right now I'm just fighting off the uh, ships that are protecting it. I'm using the Cutlass Red just for its respawn ability. And what I like to do is actually back up to the uh, door entrance and just open up. It's less travel that way if uh, I need to run back and heal myself or I die. I don't know, it's just more convenient for me that way. I, I just like doing it. I've only run this mission maybe five times. And I don't know, it's just the way I prefer it. Now one little thing I've learned here is when you go inside a new entrance, go into third person. Nine times out of ten, you don't fall on your face. All right, here's a clip from another mission where I did it. Uh, this is the hacking device you have to find. And this device can be spread out anywhere inside this ship. I want to say there's like seven or nine spots it can be in. And you got four minutes to run around and find that hacking device just to shut it off. Um, I still haven't been able to find it. I luck out with it in the hallway, usually. So here I'm just running through. Now trying to actually find that hacking device. Still learning the ship. Um, I know the... big areas what to go to. I just don't know where all the bedrooms and all that stuff lay out perfectly. I'm running back into the hangar. Here's where I engage my first enemies. You see how they just stand there usually? Just sh sitting targets. And here's a tip. Um, if you ever get injured, you don't have your med supply equipped, Make sure you reload first. Just a just a little thing I picked up from Tarkov. Just always have your gun ready to fire. And it would be good to actually have your meds equipped. I forgot to actually do that. But it kind of worked out here. And here's why you always reload. Because sometimes they don't sit there and wait for you. Sometimes they come a-running. Now the few times I've been down here, I haven't actually found a hacking device. But I want to say sometimes it can be in here, I don't know. The engine rooms, uh, I've run around looking. I don't know offhand if it can be. But with that time limit, for some reason, I have a... Any, any game with a time limit, anything that pops up there, I get that panic rush. Like, okay, I gotta get this done. I gotta go, 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 go. And then I start making mistakes. So you kind of want to be calm. Like, that was a mistake. I I went up an elevator when I could have ran up those stairs. I didn't even need to check those engine rooms. But I'm just panicking now. <laughs> Trying to run and find that device. Just looking around still. And I'm running into the hangar here and enemies can spawn. Now if you see these guys in white, don't shoot them. They're the security force. You don't want them turning on you. Because if you kill them, you get a crime stat. If you shoot at them, you get a crime stat. And you don't want that. Unless you do. Now this is one of my panics. 
I didn't know where that that elevator leads to. So I'm rushing, trying to find out. Okay, does this take me up to the top floor? No, it does not. And I got 13 seconds left. So at this point, I can take my time because there's no way I'm finding this hacking device. Now I'm just gonna explore and make my way to the hostiles locations. They only spawn in certain areas. They spawn in that hangar I just left. They spawn in the first cargo room area, or the engineering with the engines. They spawn down there. And they spawn in the foyer, as well as the, uh, it's like the bar area. So that's where I'm heading next is the bar and dining. Usually find about three guys in there. And there's two of them walking out for me. And just after killing that guy, always check just behind here. There's usually one extra. Even if you've already taken down two, like I did out here, just double check. You don't want to make your way back up. And just in case the AI decides to start working and charges after you, you don't want somebody running up behind you. You see how they're up there? They're hiding behind the glass. They won't shoot at you because they can't hit you. So they won't charge you usually. They'll just stand there if you're lucky. Now here's where I make my first mistake. I didn't clear the balcony behind me and I just started walking like an idiot. Actually, that was my second mistake. I'm gonna show you my first mistake. The nice little medical beds that are in the Cutlass Red that act as respawn points. They only work as respawn points if you set it as your preferred ICU, which I didn't do when I started the mission. So I got extremely lucky that I died on the table after setting it as my preferred spawn point. Don't make that mistake if you're in the Cutlass Red. Make sure you set that as your spawn point. All right, and the other thing I did knowing that I was probably going to die, I stowed my gun by holding R. I put it away, because I didn't want to drop it, even though it would have dropped right here in the hallway if I had died. Oh yeah, nine times out of 10. Third person works. That was the one time it doesn't work. Now I'm just gonna casually make my way in here. Notice where all the enemies are. Always check your corners because sometimes they will run down there into those corners. I've had it happen a few times. So now it's just a matter of inching up until you can get headshots. Uh, this guy right there, the glass kind of bends down, so angles down, so it makes it easy headshot. And that's all you really need to do is just inch up for headshots. I'm really hoping that they tweak the AI a little bit more. I know they're working on cover systems and other components, but. I want something that feels a little bit more challenging. I mentioned Tarkov in, earlier in this vid, and that's kind of the AI I'm used to fighting. I'm used to getting sniped by a Taz from 100 meters away. And with that, the mission's completed. I didn't find the hacking tool. So it does diminish some of your income. I only got 12,000. That's because I didn't take out any uh, friendlies. I killed all the hostiles, but I didn't find the hacking tool. If I had found the hacking tool, I would have gotten 17 grand. I like when I make a little bit more money doing fun things, easy things, but sometimes challenging things. But this one is just, it's, it's kind of fun. You get that combat going on. It's a little bit different than space combat. So, 
here's hoping uh, maybe a few patches. We got better AI. Something more fun to run. Oh, and uh, hopefully we get something like uh, looting. Because I have collected so many guns just in case I die. I would like the ability to sell these guns to somebody. That's what I'm doing. I'm running around here looking for more rifles. Because I have about 15 SMGs. I don't know why I'm collecting them. It's the it's the Tarkov in me. But that's the 890 jump uh, boarding mission. All right. Later.